everyone and welcome back in today's video we are going to focus on a very important topic especially when you are an experienced person and people generally tend to neglect this topic but it is very important because in today's scenarios in all the companies this particular optional class is being used widely so let's focus on today's uh, topic which is optional class and why it was introduced and how we are going to use this and uh, in an interviewer when uh, interview will ask you uh, what is an optional class and when we should use it like you should be able to explain all the scenarios and also like what are the functions which makes the life easy of a developer so we are going to focus on that i will also show you one demo how exactly this works so first focus on the uh, why it was introduced and what uh, things that it helps uh, a developer to avoid so first of all any non primitive data type uh, that we already know that we can set it to null so something like suppose we have a method uh, of student type and we can always return null right so a student can uh, like hold a null value right so that can be possible like there is nothing wrong writing this one or this scenario can occur anytime so sub so our next paragraph says this creates an onerous situation uh, for the client that calls this method so suppose uh, we have developed an api and our uh, method something like this is returning null so every time suppose we have to mention it in a java docs or we have to uh, keep a comment that this method can return null so you should handle this scenario using suppose if uh, null check uh, kind of scenario we will have we will have to handle otherwise we will be getting a null pointer exception okay so to remove this burden of doing all this optional class was introduced in java 7 okay in java 7 optional class was introduced so using this class we can easily check whether a variable has null value or not by doing this we can avoid any type of null pointer exception okay so if you use the optional class optional class basically uh, holds the non null value and we can easily check if it holds the uh, value if there is a value present or not and there are multiple methods uh, which makes the life easy so let's also see the methods then we'll see some uh, live example also in the eclipse all right so first method that we have is boolean is present okay so this returns true if there is a value present otherwise false how exactly so suppose i have a optional class of type str string and I am uh, checking optional dot of just engineer things. Okay, so I've assigned a value uh, in optional one of type optional. Now here I'm checking if optional one dot is present. So this will return true if there is a value. So in this scenario, this particular thing will return true. Okay, and then it will do all the things which we want in the if condition. Okay then boolean is empty okay so this returns false if there is a value present obviously is empty will return true if it is empty so in this particular scenario it is not empty okay so this particular situation will return false okay is empty return false if there is a value okay then we have if present which takes a consumer so consumer basically uh, is nothing but it uh, is a functional interface which accepts a value and it does not return anything so basically if you want to cover me all these topics like consumer predicate and all these things you can let me know in the comment section because they are little advanced and they are very important also if you are appearing for a advanced java interview okay so if a value is present invoke the spe specified consumer with the value otherwise do nothing so see optional one dot if present so basically here we are not only checking that if value is present or not so here we are performing the null check as well as we are performing this consumer operation so if it is present then what you do is you take the uh, value you print it the length of that so that we are doing simultaneously then get is the method of we have available like is present we have already seen if it is present then get me this particular value whatever is there okay so if a value is present in this optional return the value or else see optional dot off nullable so if it is null see off nullable that means it's null okay 
or else default name see this thing you can also try it i will also mention the code and you can check how exactly it is working see this null name is assigned to null so off nullable will return true or else we, directly we have used so if it is not null then uh, like off nullable null name then assign a default value so we will also i will also show you how exactly this will work okay then we have or else get if return the value if present otherwise invoke other and return the result of the invocation so return the value if present so suppose if null name has any value it will return that particular value otherwise do this okay so you can check this also it's a one line code you can uh, check and perform so let's see what exactly scenario that can occur okay so i have some code written already so it's a string array uh, of size 10 so what i'm doing is i have not assigned anything in this particular array and now i'm trying to uh, get the substring from the uh, ninth index string okay so let's see what exactly will happen i have saved it and let me run this particular thing see what exactly it says is it, it is throwing a null pointer exception and what it is returning is cannot invoke string substring because string 9 is null so basically i i have created one uh, string uh, of like array and i have not assigned any value to this array and now i am accessing this value so basically it is null and i am trying to access this so it is throwing me a null pointer exception so how we can avoid it let's see let me comment this thing okay let me comment this and let me show you how exactly it will work here okay so see now what we have done is we have taken an array of size 5 here we are checking if it is a null or not okay so basically it will return an optional class okay you can also check what it will return so here if i'll hover you can say it returns an optional with the value present if the specified value is non null you can also like print separately and you can check so it's like i have already given you the overview and explained you each and everything now you can uh, do some research you can write the code some you can return anything and you can check but here let's see if it is null obviously string we have created but we have not assigned anything all right so what it will do first of all we are checking if it is null or not using the off nullable method of optional then we are using is null dot is present then do not do this otherwise do this we can directly chain that using the or else scenario that we have seen currently so that i'm like uh, assigning vulnerable task to you that you can use all the methods and you can do some operations so let's run it and see what exactly will happen so if we'll run it you can see cannot get the substring from an empty string okay because we are trying to access the value which is not present and is null is currently holding the empty object <clears throat> so that is why it is going in else but suppose if i'll uh, do string one is equal to just engineers thing okay suppose if i'll do this and now what i will do is i will uh, get the value from a string one okay now let's see what will happen now if i'll run this we can get the substring is ste so it will check that it has the value so now go inside this get me the substring and print this so this is how exactly this works so hope this will be helpful for you and if you want me to like give this particular notes which is like pretty easy you can also uh, like make a note uh, obviously because you can it's not very long and you can also find these methods so that is all for today's and hope you have enjoyed this video thank you so much for watching and have a great day thank you